Hello everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to Mike Minds on the Minecraft server. I am joined by Ethan BTC on the server, although I'm not recording with them. And uh, look at my house. Isn't it pretty? I did a little bit of work on it. Woo! I cleaned it up a bit. Got my chest of nothing. And my crafting bench. And my bed. My bed. Oh, there we go. Take a little nap. I don't think anyone else is sleeping, which is okay. So. Oh. There we go. What do you have on me? Where are you? I need to get armor at one point. And I, I lit out here. I swear to God. I need the light better. So you guys remember my elevator? Well... I did some cleaning up down here. <laughs> um, I also improved the elevator a little bit. Uh, one thing I had to do, I put a door in here. One thing I had to change, because I was running into an issue where the item was going back and forth a couple times, um, instead of just once like it's supposed to, or you know, switch places. So I put in what right here is a, uh, a pulse. So, I don't know what the technical term would be for it. But basically what it does is when you push the button, it sends just a short little pulse on this line right here, which then sends a short little pulse here, which makes it switch between the two. And I can't really access the button from here, can I? No, because I covered it up. Although I bet if I put another button have stuff for another button. Here, I got wood buttons. Put a wood button down here. So if we put a button here... Oh no, wait, that won't work. That's a sp bad spot for it. Right here. That ought to work. I should fire it. Yeah. Did you see how it just sent a quick little pulse? Let's do it again. Watch this torch. And it should send a quick little, oop, little flick. And that's all it needs. And then that sends the elevator up and down. But you know, oh yeah, I remember why I've got it here. I need to figure out a better way for that so I can hide this. Because in all honesty, I bet you this button will work just fine right here. That's what I thought. So if I had a way to get rid of that, and I'm sure I could, I'd have to move that button and do something. I don't know what. I guess I could technically put that button there. Eh. Something for another time. Anyways. So I was digging out down here, and I think I'm going to... I started a stairway down, but I think I'm going to have to go down another... Another set of stairs here. He's randomized. That's kind of neat. Um, and then there's my little staircase going down to my mine. But I I want to make it so my my end goal is I'll have this like staircase hallway that spirals down underneath my house, and then at each level, which probably won't be this level. Each level I'll have a, a doorway that goes off and does has something, like a farm of some sort or something. So that's my plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig this. Up a bit. Now how to do that cleanly, I don't know yet. Um because I'd have to do it in a way that uh can get off on that level. So maybe yeah, maybe I have to do like maybe I should continue that all the way and then do another staircase down this way. That might work better. So let's do that. 
Let's grab some wood here. Might have to, I'm going to have to get a tree farm going next, I think, is my next thing. There we go. So, uh, one thing we did over the weekend this weekend is uh, there's a Kickstarter. I need to... I need to find a better, more comfortable way to do this, really. Hold on a second. I'm gonna get, get adjusted. Alright, um, so yeah, there's a Kickstarter for a game called uh, uh, Knee Jerk from Knapsack Games. It's from the guy, Andrew's his name. Uh, he worked on PopCat Games. I'm sure some of you recognize that name. Um, he made some games. I don't know what exactly he did there fully. I know he did some stuff. I think I want this to be... Maybe I should make this slightly bigger. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Steps down. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, okay. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we need one more. Uh, anyway, so he's got this game that he's kickstarting. Um, it's it's a card game called Knee Jerk. And basically, it's, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of like Cards Against Humanity, but not really... Um, it's, it's got a different play style to it than Cards Against Humanity. And it actually was a lot of fun. Um, and we'll have... I should hopefully have a video coming up of it, of us, a little bit of us playing around, and just my review of it. Um, because I was sent to review copies, so of course I have to review it. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will come up soon. We, uh, I did it with a friend of mine, uh, around here. His name's Brian, and his wife, Amanda, and my wife, Amy. We all, uh, got together over at their house, and we played the game, and it was a load of fun. Uh, we had a lot of fun, and Brian actually has, uh, Google Glass. He's, uh, one of the Google Glass explorers. And so he recorded it with his Google Glass, and uh, I haven't seen the video yet. Um, uh, hopefully I'll have it while I'm working on editing this video and can work on it. Oops. But uh, hopefully it turned out pretty well. We have a view of, of what it's like to play the game from, from the player's perspective. I don't know how I'm going to encase this to make it look good yet. Because that's part of the... part of the tech, but... Uh. But, uh... Let's see, where, where is I going with this story? So we played the game. Had some fun. Uh, it was It was really great. And... I don't have much else to add to that. <laughs> so yeah, reviews coming of that game. Um, I definitely recommend. I mean, I'm giving you guys basically a pre preview review because uh, I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, so I definitely recommend checking out the Kickstarter and maybe even throwing it. I think it's like ten dollars towards the Kickstarter for uh, for a copy of the game, and I definitely recommend it's it's worth it for the game. And no, I'm not like being, getting paid to sell it or anything. I mean, this is all he did was he sent me a copy to review and, and it says, here we go. He didn't give me any guidelines or anything. I love game companies that do that. They're like, um, we'll send you a copy of the game. You, you don't have to say anything nice about it. You don't have to say, you know, what you say, whatever you want to say about it. And we'll be okay with that. And I love that. So, 
the fact that it was able to do to just review it without having to worry about keeping anyone happy or, or you know, worry about one, two, three. This was 11, right? 11, 11. How many am I here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Went down too far, I think. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So really, right about here is where I should have done. I should have stopped this. Okay. And I should go like this. All right. I have it now. So that's the next layer. I need to get that all dug out then. And then uh, next goes this way. So yeah, we played that Saturday and uh, had some fun. It was kind of interesting. It was like my first grown-up um, get-together, I guess I should say. And it was kind of like, um, it was one of those things like, um, should we bring anything over? Uh, do I need to, like, I, <laughs> I honestly said, like, should I go get a bottle of wine or something? And bring over a bottle of wine? And like, I don't, I don't know how this works. I don't know how this whole grown-up thing works. I'm just guessing. So, <laughs> um, it worked out pretty well, though. But yeah, it was like our, our first like, grown-up get-together uh, since becoming a married couple and you know moving out here and and all that stuff. So, I thought it was fun. I really enjoyed it. But enough about that. And uh, so yeah, review of and that is coming. And do I have anything else to add on that stuff? I can't even. I I need to start writing down because what'll happen is throughout the day I'll think of things that I want to talk about while I'm recording, and then I go to actually record it, and I'm like, what was I gonna talk about? I'm sure it was something important, but I don't remember what. Okay. I'm gonna need like really I should be collecting diamonds or something before I do this. Better torch some of this up so it doesn't start spawning things. It's the last thing I need. Bunch of monsters in my life here. Um so what else was I go was going on in my life? <laughs> uh, I guess I need to write these things down. Uh, Kickstarter, or not Kickstarter, uh, Patreon. So I've been working on oh yeah, and a new outro, and hopefully new music. We'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, so there's a few different things going on once I since I got back into doing videos again. And a few issues I've run into that I forgot about. And one of which is that uh, even though through Audio Micro I have permission to use the song I have, um, even though it's a copyrighted song, I, ha I actually have permission for it, um, I keep getting claimed for it, which is, I mean, which makes sense. I mean, that means the claiming system works. I, and but the problem is I have to then contact the the music music company and have them release the claim, which gets kind of annoying after a while. I'm like I asked them this last time that I my videos got claimed. I'm like, can't you just add me to an approved list or something so I don't have to keep doing this? And they didn't say anything about it, so I don't know. I don't know if they can or not, or if I have to just deal with it every time. Then I get claimed. I have to email them and ask them to unclaim my video so I can. What's funny is all the ad revenue they get from it, I don't see. So, like, 
Okay, so you guys have it clean for a certain amount of time, generating ad revenue off of it, and then I don't get any of it, you know, until you guys get around to releasing. I'm worried. So that's that elevator. I might have to put blocks below it. Or maybe it's fine. clearing us out. Um, so anyways, I've kind of put out a call uh, out onto Twitter. I might have to start using stone picks, I think. I put, I put a call out to Twitter for songs that I can use that, you know, people have written in the community, because ideally, why am I grabbing cobblestone? Uh, ideally, I would like to use a uh, community written song, you know, a song by someone in the community. That would that would be my oh my gosh. That would be my my ideal plan. Uh Yeah, that'll work. I need a place for cobblestone. And did I put where where was that? I don't know. So, yeah, ideally it would be someone in the community that could uh that I could use music from and uh and support them, you know, and say, "Hey, this this music's from the community." But uh I have I have one song that's been sent to me. I'm going to um I'm I'm going to try using it today and see how how it goes, how I like, you know how it goes over, but uh, we'll see if there's what else is out there as well. Why does this coal look so light? Did they change it in Faithful? I updated my Faithful texture pack. I don't know if I said that last time. And I've got the latest with all the 1.8 stuff. Oh, speaking of 1.8, that's right. I, I've been meaning to bring this up. So people keep asking when my fan server is going to 1.8, and I'm like, um, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with the future of Bucket. Uh, well, Bucket, as far as I know, is dead, but uh, as far as what's going to replace it, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest with you. I do really want to have a 1.8 server, fan server, that's public and open to all. Um, but for it to be open to all, I need I need some sort of protection plugins to be installed you know so things like griefing can be dealt with appropriately by with you know knowing who did the griefing and being able to ban them and then being able to roll back the griefing on the affected parties so that it's it's a pleasurable experience for everyone um, you know because nothing ruins fun more than being griefed you know, the only person that has fun with that is the griefer themselves. So I'm sorry, I'm not catering to that community. So I'd like to do that, but there's just my options are very thin. But one thing I've noticed is it seems like there are servers out there with plugins that are running 1.8, and so I must be missing out on something. Uh, or you know, they have 1.8 blocks. So my fan server is you can connect to it from a 1.8 client. Um, the problem is you don't have 1.8 items because the server itself is still 1.7 it's just it's allowing connections from 1.8 and uh, by kind of a trick by making it think that the server is 1.8 and 1.7 it's, uh, it's how, it's how Spigot does it. Um, so I don't know if there's something I'm missing that's allowing uh, some of these servers to have 1.8 blocks. I don't know, so I need to look into that some more and try to figure out what's going on, because I've been kind of out of the loop, I guess. You know, because my only knowledge is from the bucket, um, bucket community, bucket plugins, and spigot. And, uh, and things have changed, and it's like, um, okay, what's, what's next? I know the sponge project is being worked on, and I've been following that. 
But it's like, okay, so what do you use in the meantime? What's, what is your option until sponge is ready? There we go. Take care of some of the water issues. Go away, water. And uh, so that's where I'm at right now with that. Is I don't know what my options are. I don't know where to look. I'll, I just don't know what to do. Uh, so a couple solutions I'm doing, or a couple things I'm doing, is it's been kind of confirmed um, that a new crack pack is coming, and I guess I'm kind of reconfirming it. There is one in the works, um, as far as how far along it is and everything, and what exactly it's got in it, I can tell you, but um, there is something coming. Uh, there is an update coming, and I am running a crack pack server that is uh, pay entry. So one of the things that changed with the EULA, or didn't really change, but one of the allowances that was explicitly allowed with the EULA is the fact that uh, you can pay for access, or you can charge for access to the server, um, which is great. Except I want. You know, I want to be able to run a server that's that's free for everyone. You don't have to pay to get on, and then those that want to support it through extra means, through buying items or buying ranks or whatever, were able to do it. Well, that's not the case anymore. And yeah, I I know how that was abused. I saw how it was abused. I was one of those that tried not to abuse it, but you know, in that case, I'm following along with the requests. Of, uh, of Mojang, now Microsoft Mojang, but that's a whole nother story. Um, whole nother thing. So I'm following along with the requests. I want to stay in good graces and everything. And I just, you know, I want to be a good guy in the whole thing. There's no point in me fighting. Um, fighting for no reason. So, what that entails then is that I had to set up a, a special server. Um, so this one being crack pack that was pay for entry and uh, and in doing so so it's pay, and it's crack or you know it's a feed the beast thing and that helps bring in a little bit of revenue for paying for things like the website and and other things that it costs to run a server um, what's nice is the server cost itself is covered by MC Pro Hosting, which helps a lot. And uh, per you know, that's gonna change to when we update the vanilla servers. That's gonna be pushed or published a little more because of um, because of their support and everything. Um, I need I want to uh, give them support back and everything. So. Uh, so I'll be pushing that a little bit more, but that's when that comes. So in in the time being, um, I will be resetting the private crack pack server uh, when the new crack pack comes out, as well as I will be resetting the vanilla fan server when uh, one eight something that allows me to run plugins and mainly just some sort of logging and protection plugins. Um, comes out. So that's, I mean, those are the big things we're waiting on right now. And it's really just makes, makes running servers that much more complicated. Anyways, so, I'm, uh, one of these, one of these I'm going to break. It's going to be a bad one to break. That one's okay. As long as I don't break... That one's okay. Can't break that one. Can't break that one. Okay. So now I should be able to encase this. Except where the slime is. That's a problem. Okay. Well, that's for another time. I should probably make sure this still works. Two. Okay, good. Pushes up. And back down. Sweet. So, 
Where does that leave us? Oh, so, and, and then Patreon. So, I'm also part of my Patreon plan, and I'm planning on doing a live stream this Saturday to kind of push it some more and to launch the Patreon server. But I'm setting up a Patreon server that's going to be completely separate from... It's actually going to be on a completely separate separate host that then the uh, fan server and crack pack is on. And it's going to be for Patreons only. And it's going to be a purely vanilla server, latest version, whatever latest version is at the time. Um, you know, no plugins, nothing like that. And it's going to be whitelisted at the beginning of each month to whichever Patreons are part of that level for the month. What am I doing? And, uh... I'm also, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be launching the Patreon server um, this weekend. I need to decide on a seed, by the way. So if anyone's got any good seeds they recommend, let me know. You could be deciding the seed for the Patreon server. But uh, I'll be launching that this weekend, and anyone during the stream, during the launch stream, that donates the $25 or the keep using the word donate. I need to stop doing that. It's not a donation. But, uh, who pledges <laughs> the, uh, $25 a month will get access to that Patreon server during the stream right away. I'll wait and list you right then and there. Um, and we don't have to wait is that all I have left for Andesite? I'm gonna have to go back to Goodland and borrow some more. I've been borrowing a lot of items, I've noticed. I'm waiting for a creeper to be outside that door. So, yeah, I'll be doing that stream um, this weekend. I'll have more details as it gets closer. Um, and I'll be doing. So with Patreons and stuff. So if you want to be whitelisted before the stream starts, um, definitely go check out my Patreon page and donate the... Or donate. Stop using donate. Uh, pledge the $25. And and you'll be on at the beginning of the stream. Which is cool. So we'll get that going this weekend. Um, Inside is right here. I was given permission to take this, by the way. <laughs> I was. I'm not just quote unquote borrowing it. I was given permission. Um, so, get readjusted here. I can only be in one position so long. Um, so, yeah, I'll be streaming. So come check out that. And definitely go check out my Patreon page. It would be nice um, to hit that $250 a month level. and uh, Or even higher. It, was, it would be so nice to do that. I would love one day to get like Kurt's level where he's at, what is he at, 5,000? Wow. That's more than, that's way more than I make uh, my full-time job. It would be nice someday. Dreams. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not expecting that, though, for sure. In any way. But, uh. Oh, I don't need to do this. That's right. It looks like this. Like that. And like that. Okay. So we'll finish up this wall and probably call it an episode. I really like this andesite block. I need to find a better way to light this. See, it looks it makes it look so much cleaner. I think, anyways. I don't know. I could be wrong. So here, I don't know if we'll have anything right here. But this would be like a doorway. 
So it would go, would be the center. There's one there and there. So there's the center right, right there. So like we would have an opening. This is just an example. Like this. Maybe it won't be quite this big. Maybe it'll only be two. Maybe it'll be like that. But then it'll be three deep, so what I'll do is right in here, this will be the door. So maybe, it, maybe it'll be more like... I don't know. But this will be the door, and uh, redstone will pull uh, a door open here and here by a lever or a switch or a button or something. And then on the other side, be the inside wall of this building, of this room, and that room being like a, a farm of some sort, or I don't know, or an animal pen, or, or a brewing room, I don't know, storage room, maybe that's where the sh what this should be, is a storage room, be kind of easy to get to, and then I'll just keep working my way down, working down and working down, but I think that should end today's episode right about here I don't know what I'll do for that but we'll figure something out but that should end today I want to thank you all for watching and uh, yeah go check out my patreon page please and go check out my twitch as well and follow me there so that you'll be notified um, so switch out TV slash Michael. Uh, you'll be notified notified when I go live on my streams. And then check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Michael. Basically anything.com slash Michael is me. Uh, almost anything. So Twitter, Patreon, Twitch, and YouTube. I think those are the main ones. I might have a few other sites, other places. Um, but those are the big ones. What's that door? I like these, the dark oak doors because they have no windows so you can hide stuff behind them but that's gonna do it for me for today I you know this is my favorite part you can't tell that I've got all that stuff going on down there but again it's gonna do it for me for today thanks for watching and see y'all next time